Hi, you're on the Image Game Channel. The medieval setting is quite popular and enticing with its unique atmosphere. Developers are actively using this and have embodied in games not only historically reliable data, but also often add various fantasy elements. In this video, I will talk about 40 games with an open medieval world, and I will start with Gothic 3, is a role-playing game developed by Piranha Bytes and released in 2006. It is set in a large open-world environment, with players taking on the role of a nameless hero as they explore the world and complete quests. Overall, opinions about Gothic 3 are somewhat mixed. Many players appreciate the game's expansive open world, engaging storyline, and complex character development system. However, others criticize the game's technical issues, lack of polish, and general bugginess. Despite these issues, many players still consider Gothic 3 to be a classic RPG. Its depth, complexity, and expansive game world make it a standout title in the genre, and its emphasis on player choice and consequence is still influential today. The Black Death this is an 8 square kilometer medieval world survival simulator based on 14th century Western Europe. The game is very atmospheric. Middle Ages, a deadly plague, burnt villages and forts captured by all sorts of bandits. There is character leveling, crafting, building your own house or castle. From the start, there are 10 classes to choose from. For example, you can become a warrior, a peasant or a minstrel. There is multiplayer for up to 50 players, as well as a rating and punishment system that will not allow you to kill everyone you meet. The Black Masses Zombie slasher in the spirit of dying light made in the setting of a medieval apocalypse with an open world, co-op and the maximum number of enemies per square meter. Often the undead huddle into huge hordes, but there is nothing tricky in the technique of exterminating them. Each hit on the adversary adds us experience points, and with them, skill points, they are mostly passive, affect attack speed, regeneration and stuff like that. The cherry on top is the ability to climb walls, just like Altair. Of course, there are no leaps of faith here, but climbing over a stone wall, climbing a high tower or climbing into a closed mansion through the second floor is quite real. Life is futile, forest village, simulation of a medieval village that develops and inevitably dies out by the end of the game session. The game does not forgive mistakes and requires careful management. Lack of resources, starvation, random events, and disease, everything is there. It will not work to start and watch how the metropolis is rebuilt. You need to know each character and follow the maturation of each field personally. We will have to think about how to feed and warn the inhabitants, how to provide them with medicines in case of an epidemic and protect them from wild animals. There is terramorphing, as well as the ability to move into any inhabitant and play for him. You can go cut down a tree or hunt, or you can work hard in the fields. Black Desert MMORPG in a medieval fantasy setting, the game looks much more realistic than anime counterparts from the same Koreans, and the community here is extremely mature. The world is big and full of adventures. It can be explored both on a ship and on various vehicles. In addition, there is an exciting combat system with a lot of skills, combos, and off-scale dynamics. Glory Evictus MMORPG with a huge open medieval world and a small pinch of fantasy that does not spoil the overall impression of the game. All the characteristic features of a massive multiplayer game are present here. A large world, several warring factions, various NPCs, PvP and PvE battles and the possibility of cooperation with other users. It should also be noted realistic non-target combat, a large number of medieval crafts, an impressive number of authentic weapons and armor, as well as climate and terrain that recreate the territory of Western, Central, and Eastern Europe. Albion Online, another sandbox MMORPG set in an open medieval fantasy world. It differs from many other online role-playing games by high stakes. The more treasure-rich locations you wander into, the more the jackpot, but the higher the chance of dying and losing all your equipment. In addition to raiding monsters, there are plenty of other activities in the local open world. You can do farming or crafting, buy an island, breed animals there or rent it out, try yourself as a miner, and so on. Nobody bothers to put together a guild, rebuild your base and attack other clans. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen 
a dark and hostile fantasy RPG made by the Japanese in a very un-Japanese way. There is no colorful anime here, only a dry and gloomy story about a hero who must fight a dragon in order to return a stolen heart. To do this, he recruits teammates and sets off to clear villages and dungeons from goblins, witches, and giant monsters. There are nine classes and a lot of different builds to choose from, from a classic archer to a warrior who can climb the backs of giants. Conqueror's Blade a multiplayer game where you can create a character, customize, choose a class and rush into an open world journey. The graphics are not at the highest level, but it does not hurt the eyes either. Good detailing of characters, locations, buildings and weapons. You can also participate in large-scale battles in a team with other players and against other players. But before that, you have to gather your huge army, improve it in yourself, and even then, the role of the commander will go to conquer the lands. The Witcher 3 – Wild Hunt This unique game will allow you to plunge into the open world of medieval fantasy with Slavic flavor, where adventure awaits at every turn. Millisy towns and villages, taverns where they will always pour a mug of mead and offer to play Gwent, Kikamores, Goblin and Witches to be studied and defeated, hundreds of soulful quests and an epic storyline. Even now, against the backdrop of many modern projects, The Witcher is a real sweetie. Kingdom Come, Deliverance, the most believable RPG about the Middle Ages, which was made by real fans of this era. As a result, you want to live in the open world of medieval Bohemia, observe the daily life of peasants in small villages, chat with the characters and complete their tasks. The plot is non-linear, and each quest can be completed in different ways, which will affect the world around you. The player will be able to take on the role of a warrior, archer, robber, or diplomat. It is worth mentioning the unique combat, which realistically simulates the knightly battles of the Middle Ages. Book of Travels, a cozy MMO about a journey, with its own mythology and a world that is interesting to explore. The idea is interesting, but not for everyone. Basically, you have to explore locations for loot and chat with people. There is no eternal farm, although you need to look for various items and trade them so that you have something to buy yourself the best equipment for. The whole process is pleasant and not intrusive. If you like meditation games about walking and exploration, then you should pay attention. Life is futile, your own. One of the best survival games with RPG elements about the Middle Ages, combining all the best features and developments from sandbox games. A large open world, free building and terraforming, an abundance of crafts and crafting recipes. Those who prefer robbery and battles to peaceful labor will be impressed by the local combat based on non-target and the possibility of simultaneous participation in the battle of 64 people. Assassin's Creed Games in this series provide an opportunity to participate in a variety of historical events. The very first part, the second, as well as Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood and Revelations will allow us to plunge into the medieval world. All these four games are united by a common and, according to many, the best plot of the series, which touches on several historical events and heroes. The gameplay is the same, the basis of the mechanics is parkour, the use of crowds and various shelters for stealthy kills and unusual melee mechanics. And the open world presents some degree of non-linearity. Mount and Blade 2, Bannerlord, continuation of the cult medieval sandbox. As before, here we will be given the opportunity to frolic with a sword in our hands both in single-player mode and in multiplayer. The game, first of all, stands out for the freedom of wagering. In this authentic world, we will be able to participate in jousting tournaments, become a merchant or a lord. The latter can buy and improve the castle, as well as recruit recruits. In addition, there are large-scale multiplayer battles with sieges, sword fights, cavalry and crossbow firefights. Medieval Dynasty Medieval life simulator where the cliched struggle for survival is mixed with mechanics such as building your own village, interacting with NPCs, collecting and producing goods for residents. There is a crafting system, the possibility of hunting and trading. In moments of relaxation, you can distribute your free skills and admire the beautiful views that can please you at any time of the year. We will do all this from the first person in a realistic open world, which contributes to the maximum immersion in the Middle Ages.
The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion is a role-playing game developed by Bethesda Game Studios and released in 2006. It is set in a vast, open-world environment, with players taking on the role of a customizable character exploring the world and completing quests. One of the game's biggest strengths is its world-building. The game's open-world environment is vast and varied, with diverse landscapes, weather patterns, and flora and fauna. Players can interact with a variety of NPCs and factions, each with their own unique characteristics and motivations. The game's main quest and side quests are also praised for their depth and complexity, with many offering multiple paths and outcomes depending on the player's choices. Another major point of praise for Oblivion is its modding community. The game's modding scene is still active today, with many players creating and sharing their own mods to enhance the game's graphics, mechanics, and content. Ostrov is a city-building game. The game takes place in the historical setting of Ukraine in the 18th century and emphasizes realism and attention to detail. One of the game's biggest strengths is its attention to historical accuracy, with a focus on authentic architecture, farming practices, and social structures. Players must manage every aspect of their town's growth, from resource gathering and production to trade and diplomacy with neighboring towns. Stone's Heart. Here we will act as a mercenary, we will go on a journey through the devastated kingdom and we will fulfill contracts in order to earn money for existence. The gameplay is quite hardcore if the character can die from bleeding wounds, and game situations affect the psyche. The variety is also off the charts and abundance of upgrade options, over 200 items of equipment and turn-based tactical battles where you need to think several moves ahead. Patron. Settlement simulator in a medieval setting, where the main task is the distribution of human resources. It is necessary to be very thoughtful in the process of building buildings and distributing people according to industries, otherwise people may freeze or starve and die, and this cannot be allowed. Each person is very important and necessary, especially at the beginning of development. As you grow, you need to maintain a balance so that all the resources you need at the moment are enough. The Guild 3, a unique mix of economic simulation, historical life simulation, strategy and real-time role-playing game, where we have to create a family dynasty that can last for centuries to come. At the same time, it will be possible to choose your craft, you can become the head of a small enterprise, take part in a political career, become the leader of thieves, or even become the leader of the dead. In addition to us and our cause, there are other castes of the population of the Middle Ages in the city, workers, artisans, intellectuals, aristocrats, and all of them will build their own intrigues. Rustler, a kind of GTA, in a medieval setting, an isometric open-world action game in which we can create chaos and have fun hiding from mounted police, annoying peasants, stealing horses, doing crazy quests, hanging out with bards and much more. The game is extremely frivolous and absurd. Two Worlds 2. Another game with fantasy elements in an open medieval world and RPG elements. Here you can become a magician, alchemist, knight or spy, equip your hero with the best equipment, find allies, and go on a long journey. The plot is not intricate, the world is engulfed in darkness and its servants want to release the ancient evil, which you must prevent and at the same time free the protagonist's sister from captivity. Orcs will also come to the rescue, which were previously enemies, but with the advent of a stronger enemy, they will help the hero throughout the game. Gidonia, the protagonist is a peasant who is accidentally drawn into a maelstrom of mysterious events. We will be sent to a large seamless open world where we can become an archer, necromancer, warrior or some other unique fighter. And in the local medieval world there are plenty of things to do you can explore dungeons, fight for different factions, look for allies, complete quests, and even build your own house. Also, the game will surely please the owners of weak PCs with its low system requirements. Risen 3, Titan Lords role-playing game from the creators of the Gothic series. The plot begins with the fact that the nameless hero dies and loses his soul, but soon the shaman resurrects him. Now we have to return the soul of the nameless, join one of the three factions and save the islands from evil. Titan Lord starts sluggishly, but soon accelerates, dipping into a sea of adventure. 
you will be pleased with high quality combat with magic, fencing, and musket shooting. Here you can turn into a parrot and curse enemies with voodoo magic, surf the oceans, look for treasures, and see monsters. Stronghold Crusader 2 Minival Castle Management Simulator with dynamic gameplay and sophisticated destructibility. Here, players create armies and besiege fortresses, build castles and fight off enemy raids. All this takes place in the Middle East of 1189 AD, with units and buildings corresponding to the era. The cooperative mode will also please, in which players can jointly manage the castle, troops and resources. Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales, isometric role-playing game from the authors of The Third Witcher, which will offer a new story from this amazing universe. This time we will take on the role of the ruler of Lyria and Arivia, who enters the warpath for revenge. The combat mechanics are based on the rules of Gwent, and travel through the virtual world is carried out in the same way as in any other RPG. Fans of The Witcher should go through the game at least for the sake of the plot and the well-developed world, and everyone else will surely enjoy the atmosphere, unusual combat, and excellent music. Giants Uprising Medieval hack and slash with giants in the title role, who destroy all life in their path. Even at the first glance at the game, it is clear that the developers were inspired by the popular anime Attack on Titan, where large monsters devoured people and attacked their cities. However, the idea of this game is radically different here the giants were enslaved with the help of magic and forced to work for humanity. Not all giants agreed with this state of affairs, and now we, managing one of them, must put people in their place. Banished. Another settlement simulator where its inhabitants are the main resource. They are born, they grow, they do work, they have offspring, and sooner or later they die. And maintaining happiness, health and provisions is a necessary condition for the growth of the city. There is no universal strategy for an easy start, the amount of resources on the maps is different and limited every time. Just building new houses is not enough, there must be enough people in the town to live in them. It is also worth noting that there are about two dozen different medieval crafts in the game, from farmers and hunters to blacksmiths, teachers and healers. Battle Brothers, a tactical role-playing game in which we will play the role of a mercenary leader, we have to gather a bunch of thugs under our wing, go on a journey through an open medieval fantasy world, and conclude contracts for the sake of ringing gold coins. We will have to decide for ourselves what the next step will be taken by the mercenaries, what equipment they will have and how their adventures will end. The game does not lead by the hand and offers to build your own career in a procedurally generated campaign, and it is also cruel because teammates will often die permanently in difficult battles. Ghost of a Tale, a fabulous adventure game about a medieval mouse kingdom in which intelligent tailed rodents rule the rest of the creatures. Among them there are both villains and good guys. The story is dedicated to a brave minstrel mouse who went on an adventure in search of his beloved. The gameplay combines elements of adventure, RPG, and open-world action. This is a great fairy tale with nice graphics, painstakingly designed locations, excellent humor, and a dramatic plot. The combat system is intuitive and fun, and the stealth mechanics are well implemented. Savage Lands We can say that this is a kind of hybrid of Skyrim, Rasta, and even Forest. Those who love survival games and a gloomy medieval atmosphere should definitely pay attention. Our opponents here will be giant ants, skeletons, dragons, and other fantasy creatures. Like any survival simulator, the game offers a wide range of crafting and building options. You will have to start with a wretched hut, raw meat, and an axe, and finish with the construction of your own castle and an entire village, as well as a bunch of rare loot. Kingdoms this first-person RPG will offer you to write your story in a medieval world, which is randomly generated here every time you start. There is complete freedom of action, go where your eyes look and become whoever you want. Engage in trade, open your own taverns, create an entire kingdom or fight bandits in caves, no one limits your actions. The game boasts advanced artificial intelligence, each NPC here is unique, pursues its own goals, and has its own skills. At the same time, they react differently to the actions of the player, which makes each passage unpredictable. War Tales 
It is set in a medieval fantasy world and emphasizes tactical combat, resource management, and exploration. One of the game's biggest strengths is its blend of role-playing and strategy elements. Players must manage a team of characters, each with their own unique skills and abilities, as they explore the game's open world, complete quests, and engage in tactical combat. The game's combat system is turn-based and emphasizes positioning, terrain, and environmental hazards, making each battle a strategic puzzle to solve. Mortal Online 2 is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. It is a sequel to the original Mortal Online game and features an open-world sandbox gameplay experience. The gameplay is a mix of action, exploration, and crafting. The game's open-world sandbox style allows players to explore and discover at their own pace, while the game's skill-based character system allows for a unique and personalized experience. The game's crafting system is also deep and rewarding, allowing to create their own equipment and items. The game's player-driven economy also promotes social interaction, as players trade and barter for goods and services. Going Medieval is a survival strategy game, set in a post-apocalyptic world. Players must lead a small group of settlers as they build a community, gather resources, and defend themselves against raiders and other dangers. One of the game's biggest strengths is its deep crafting and building systems. Players can create a wide variety of items and structures, from weapons and armor to walls and traps. The game's building system is also highly flexible, allowing players to create custom structures and layouts for their community. Valheim The gameplay of Valheim is a mix of survival, exploration, and crafting. Valheim is designed to be played with friends, and the game's multiplayer mode is one of its strongest features. Players can form clans and work together to build and explore, or engage in friendly competition in the game's boss battles. The game's seamless integration of single-player and multiplayer modes also makes it easy to play with friends. Valheim's boss battles are a major highlight of the game. Each boss is unique and requires a different strategy to defeat, making each encounter a thrilling challenge. The game's bosses also drop valuable resources that are essential for crafting high-level equipment, Dragon Age Origins is an epic RPG game. Players have praised the game's rich world-building, detailed lore, and memorable characters. The main story is engaging and epic, but it's the personal stories of the characters that really shine. Each companion has their own backstory and personality, and players have to work to earn their trust and unlock their full potential. The game offers a lot of replay value, with multiple origin stories to choose from and branching paths based on player choices. Players can experience different storylines, romances, and outcomes depending on their choices, making each playthrough feel fresh and exciting. Expeditions Vikings In this role-playing strategy game you will follow the adventures of a Viking clan at the end of the 8th century, in a history full of travels, expeditions, struggles, booty and many quests on the Scandinavian coasts and beyond. This game is the closest thing to feeling like a real Viking. The different aspects of the game fit together perfectly, creating a continuous and unique playstyle and design. An important reason for this is the RPG element. You create a character, assemble a band of mercenaries, and then sail to England. For what purpose? It depends on you. You can complete the game as a merchant, diplomat, or invader. Some characters will love you for your decisions, some will hate you, you can't please everyone. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is an action-adventure game, and is set during the Viking Age. The game's open-world design allows for a variety of activities, from raiding enemy villages to hunting animals for resources. The game's combat system is also well implemented, with a variety of weapons and abilities to master. The story is engaging. Players take on the role of Eivor, a Viking warrior who becomes embroiled in a conflict between the Norse and English kingdoms. That's all. Thank you for watching up to this point. Your like and subscription will be the best gratitude. The Image Game Channel was with you. Have a good day.